See you hell, man. Hell. Hell. You ain't never been there. You, okay, you, not, you. Not gonna be able to, not be able to do that in hell. Well, uh, okay, let's talk about hell for a minute. That, that sounds like fun. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. Red letters. That's from Jesus. Was he being ugly? Just being smart. Yeah. Talking about stuff I won't say. I won't. Wouldn't even say it around your children. Well, the wicked. It's pretty bad. Hey, is there any treasure in that sunken chest? Go put a shirt on. <clears throat> I don't even pay no attention to him. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. I'm not talking about college exams. I'm talking about a place called hell. Red letters. Jesus talked about hell more than heaven. Look it up. Look it up. Fact check me. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. Eternal fire. Fire. Seven times hotter than on earth. Burning you. You're thirsty, but there's nothing to drink. You're hungry, but there's nothing to eat. You're tired. But there's no place to lay down. That's a place called hell for eternity, forever. How can I not preach like this when I know what hell's like? Have I been to hell? No. And I don't want to go there. But when Jesus says something, we can take it as the truth. Because Jesus said, I am the truth. Jesus was the most intolerant person there ever was to walk this earth. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He didn't say, but by me and Muhammad. He didn't say, but by me and Joseph Smith. He didn't say, but by me and whatever God you want to believe in. He said, only me. If you want to get into heaven, it's through Jesus. Another saying by Jesus, red letters. Narrow. Narrow is the path of life. Wide and broad is the way to destruction. And boy, do we have pathways of destruction out here. This place is known for its sin. Yeah, let's sell that alcohol. Yeah. Let's sell those cigarettes. Yeah. Well, drugs aren't legal yet, but they will be. They will be. They're halfway there. How, how many states are selling the devil's lettuce now that anybody wants it? How many? Six, seven, eight, nine? In the South, we call it the devil's lettuce. That's exactly what it is. It turns into a zombie. with that? Am I really hurting anybody when I smoke that marijuana, that wacky tobacco? Am I really hurting anybody? How is that a sin? How is that a sin? Well, Jesus said, greatest commandment, love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, mind, and strength. You can't love the Lord your God with all your mind when your mind is half-baked, when you're all dazed and confused, or when you have a buzz from alcohol. I'll give you a quick science lesson. Free of charge, I'm not gonna charge for this. Free science lesson. How do you make alcohol? Well, you take some fruit, you take some grain, and you let it rot. You let it rot 
and then you get yep. alcohol. That's right. So when you're drinking that alcohol, you're drinking something that's rotten, and you reap what you sow. You drink stuff that's rotten, your life's going to be rotten. And then the alcohol takes over. Starts off, you just have one little drink, experimenting in college. You take your one little drink, you get a nice little buzz going. You're the life of the party. Actually, you're not the life of the party. They get you drunk so they can take pictures of you, post them on the Facebook, so they can make fun of you. But you're the life of the party. Everything's fine. A few months later, one drink doesn't do it. One drink doesn't give you that buzz that you used to get. So you gotta go on to two drinks. A few months later, it's three drinks. Before you know it, you're a full-blown alcoholic. Alcoholic. You wonder why you got to send your kids to public school instead of sending them to a school that actually teaches them something. Public schools today, they teach how socialism breaks, how there are no genders. Give me a break. <clears throat> now I know that there's some gender confusion out there nowadays. Some people are confused about their gender. Okay. I want to help you out with that. When you were born, there was a document filled out called a birth certificate. And on that birth certificate, it says male or female. So if you have some confusion, there was a medical professional at your birth and it signed male or female. You either have a Y chromosome or you don't. That's gender in a nutshell. By the way, Caitlyn Jenner is not a woman. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner is not a woman. Caitlyn Jenner is a man that was stupid enough to have his genitals cut off. That's what Caitlyn Jenner is. I don't know how I got off on that, but somebody had to hear that. That's why I'm out here talking tonight. Care about your soul. Care about your soul. Heaven or hell when you die. Judgment Day. Have you prepared for Judgment Day? Are you ready for the books to be open? Your name better be in that book. Your name better be in that book. But if you're engaged in sin, you're not in that book. Your name's been blotted out. I don't know, sin. God hates sin, God hates sinners. Read the book. your Bible. That's that book on your shelf that's collecting dust for years. Maybe you take it out on Sunday to take it to church. So the preacher can show you some nice flowery verses and give you some nice things that'll make you feel good, that'll get your ears, scratch your ears some. Then you can go home and watch the game. Wicked, wicked, wicked. False teachers, false prophets. I want to tell you, hey, you know, if you send me money, God's going to bless you. God's going to bless you. Just like in the Bible. Paul said, I've been hungry. I've been thirsty. I fought with wild beasts. Doesn't sound very prosperous to me. And yet he wrote most of the New Testament. He died by beheading. How prosperous is that? He never took money. He said, this is my boast. Paul said, this is my boast. He says, I've preached the gospel free of charge. Free of charge. 
Yes, God is great. Paul said, I, that is my boast. I preach the gospel free of charge. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Exactly. No. Wake up in the morning. You should be thinking, how am I going to glorify God today? Go. That should be on your mind. That is the secret. You want to know why you're miserable? You want to know why you're depressed? Because you got it all backwards. You're working to make yourself happy. And the Bible says to be happy, to make other people happy is to serve God to love your neighbor as yourself people get this mean mentality I gotta look out for number one I gotta look out for me it's a, it's a difficult step to start looking into other people's well-being that's why we're out here I don't want any of you to go to hell I don't want a single one of you to go to hell at all. I'm on Team Jesus, not Team Satan. The devil wants you to go to hell, and the devil has got someone helping him. Your flesh. That part of you that craves sin. That part of you that says, me, 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 me. The devil doesn't even bother some of y'all. You're doing a good job destroying yourself. He doesn't need to whisper in your ear. He doesn't need to send a demon to you. You're doing a good job on your own destroying yourself. You know, there's children out here. Turn that music off. Tell you what the music industry is like today. I've got to be more filthy, more nasty than the people that are out there right now. All the songs that are out there right now, they took a they take a look at them and they say, I got to do something filthier than that. I got to do something nastier than that. That's how you sell records. And it's wicked. make a lot of money in the music industry if you glorify God with your music. But then again, we're storing up treasures in heaven. Heaven's treasuries are never robbed. They're insured by the Holy Spirit. They're insured by angels. You store up for yourself treasure in heaven, nobody's going to get it. But you got to stay vigilant. The Bible says you live your whole life being righteous and then you sin right before you die. All that righteousness that you did is wiped out. Wiped out. God says, I won't even look at it. Just like the man who sins all his life, turns his life around and starts living holy, God doesn't remember the wickedness. It works both ways, people. Remember, God's a perfect God. That's right. It works both ways. <laughs> Heaven or hell when you die, people. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. If you don't have a Bible and you got a smartphone, Go to BibleGateway.net. BibleGateway.net. You can get a Bible for free on your phone and read it. You got a hotel room? Bible. God bless the Gideons. 
getting that word out. I mean, y'all remember getting a Bible, getting a Bible from the Gideons. I remember it. They don't do it anymore. They don't allow them to. I, used, I got one in school. I got one in the military. God bless the Gideon. But the Bible's no good if you don't read it. If you won the lottery tomorrow, if you won the lottery tomorrow, and you took all that money, and you put it in a metal box and buried it in the ground, it's not much use to you, is it? Just like this Bible. This Bible's no good if you just stash it away. Put it up on the shelf to collect dust for you. Dust it off, read it. I've been preaching things in this Bible. People have been telling me right here. Just an hour ago. That's not in the Bible. That tells me they're not reading the Bible. Hey, I preach the Bible. That's right. I preach you something. It's in here. Because I read it. I read it daily. I have for years. Even when I was a backslidden Christian, no good to anybody. I still read my Bible. Some of you think you're Christian, you don't even read your Bible. If I was backslidden to read my Bible. If I died then. Jesus would have said, I never knew you. I would have went to hell because I was living in sin. We got to stop this false doctrine. Once saved, always drunk. Amen. Once saved, always saved. Once saved, always drunk. That's the new doctrine. Say, hey, look. You go to the preacher on Sunday. You do your sinner's prayer, you get baptized, and you're going to heaven no matter what you do. Hogwash. I'm going to tell a little story time. It's time for story time with EC Street Preacher. I'll tell y'all a little story tonight. There was a boy that went fishing with his dad. They went out to the lake out there fishing, just having a good time. And the father after a while says, son, I'm going to take a nap. You just keep fishing. He says, son, don't go in the water. There's crocodiles in the water. So the son's out there fishing. He's having a good time. And he notices a, a, a canoe by the side of the lake. Says, man that would be great if I could go in that canoe and go out on that lake and do some fishing out there he remembered his father said hey don't go out on the lake there's crocodiles in there he didn't see any crocodiles he said well I'll just go out for a little bit come back in he goes in his canoe he goes out on the lake he's having a good time he's catching some fish and then there's a bump on the boat. And another bump. And another bump. And he's surrounded by crocodiles. The next thing he knows, everything goes black. He wakes up on the, on the shore of the lake. He wonders how he got there. And then he sees his father on the shore also, torn up, bloody. He had ran into the lake and pulled him out, got away from those crocodiles, and it ended up costing him his life. Mm. Now, would that boy go back in that canoe and go and start fishing again? No, he wouldn't. He would stay away from that lake. That's what you're doing when you sin. saving you from those crocodiles. But yet you just keep going back in. Going back in there. 
Bible says once you've been saved, if you sin again, he says there's no sacrifice left for sin. That's in Hebrews. No sacrifice. You want another verse? I'll give you another one. Paul said in Romans, Shall we continue in sin so that glory may abound? God forbid. How can we which are dead to sin live any longer therein? Once you're cleansed, stay out of the mud. Once you've been saved, stay away from sin. Stop it. Stop sinning. Stop sinning for a while. See how much you like it. I stopped sinning years ago. Never been happier. I highly recommend it. We got these false teachers out there saying you can't stop sinning. You sin every moment of every day. Come on now. If I sinned every moment of every day, I wouldn't want to be alive. I know what sin does to God. Yes, you can be free from sin. The Bible requires it. The Bible says, be holy, for I am holy. You're supposed to be as holy as God is. Then there's that old false doctrine on a bumper sticker. Christians aren't perfect, just forgiven. Well, <laughs> Jesus uh, kind of destroyed that bumper sticker. He said, be ye perfect. Look it up, Matthew 5, 48. Be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Be perfect. This is a command from Jesus. He said, be perfect. Stop the sin. Usually people that preach that that you can spit sin and still be saved, they're in sin. They're preaching to themselves as well as to you. Get the sin out. Heaven or hell when you die, people. Heaven or hell when you die. Make your choice. Make your choice. The Bible's very clear about that. You can, you can choose. You can choose. Moses said himself. He says, you've got the choice before you. Life or death? Make a choice. Moses also said, your sin will find you out. You think you're doing something in the back room, in the dark, and it's not going to be shown in the light? Maybe not in this world, but it's definitely going to be shown on Judgment Day for all to see. Are you okay? For all to see on Judgment Day, everything. You make your little precautions, you go out there, you look outside the windows, make sure nobody's coming home yet, get everything set up, have everything ready. You know, if you work for God as much as you work for your sin, you'd be doing pretty well. You use all that energy for sin that you use that you use for sin for God, you'd be happy and not miserable and not depressed. God blesses you with that energy. You're breathing because God wants you to breathe right now. God can take it away. Snap of this finger. If God wanted to wipe you out, you're gonna get wiped out. That's that Sodom and Gomorrah. They got wiped out pretty quick. Fire and brimstone. All right. Just think about that. The sin that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah is embraced by our current culture. This is Pride Month. June is Pride Month. <laughs> it's embraced. By the way, the rainbow is God. The LGBT, element of P, whatever you want to call them. 
I like to say LGBT, STD, HIV. They stole that from God. Remember what the rainbow's for. The world was so wicked that God wiped it out with a flood. The man's every thought was wicked. It was wicked. So I was going to wipe it out. And are we lucky that Noah was perfect? Yes, that's right. People in the Bible were perfect. The Bible says Job was perfect. God said Noah was perfect. And guess what? Jesus says you need to be perfect. Aren't we lucky that Noah found favor with God? Or else we would have been wiped out completely. The rainbow says, I will not flood the earth again. That was his covenant with man. I will not flood it. Seed time, harvest time will continue. So he's not going to flood the earth again. Instead, he's going to burn it up. Fire! Fire! So they steal what's God to use for themselves. God calls it an abomination. And yet our society embraces it. Oh, we accept you. Oh, yes. Have your pride parade in our town. Yes. Yes, we accept it. Yes. You want to marry, if you're a guy and you want to marry your boyfriend, go ahead. If two women want to get married, go ahead. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. Pedophilia. Pedophilia. Homosexuality always leads to pedophilia. Yep, they're everywhere. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. That's right. because the women aren't doing it for him anymore. So he goes to men. The men aren't doing it for him anymore. So he's got to go to the children. That's right. Remember the Catholic priests, pedophiles. That's why Catholics are against birth control. That's why Catholics are against abortion. Those pedophile Catholic priests put more altar boys to the left. Saint Molester. Amen. That's a good point. How do you make a homosexual? I'll give you the recipe. I'll give you the recipe for a homosexual. Take some daddy issues. You mix in a whole lot of masturbation. And poof! You get a homosexual. Preach it, Timothy. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, Pride Month. Pride Month. I hope I didn't offend anybody by saying masturbation. But we just got through with May, which is National Masturbation Month. Good I'm not night. making this up. I thought maybe. I'm not making this up. They officially call it that. May. And it's funny how we have May Masturbation Month and then we have June LGBT Month, Pride Month. I don't think that's a coincidence. Because the one thing leads to the next thing. That's right. So we'll have these pride parades. And those of you that think homosexuals are just like heterosexuals, it's just a different type of love, okay? You need to go to a pride parade. See what goes on at a pride parade. That's right. Put a camera in those porta potties at the pride parade. See what you see. How was this love? Here, have some HIV. Here, have some AIDS. Here, have a prolapse rectum. You don't love your neighbor by giving them a prolapse rectum. You don't love your neighbor by sodomizing your neighbor. 
That's wrong. We got an explosion of homosexuality nowadays. All linked to the porn. Porn is more available now than ever. You swipe on the phone, a few mouse clicks, and you're in business, baby. Before you had to steal a magazine from somewhere, from a dumpster. You had to go dumpster diving and hope you could find some porn in there. And it's real easy to get the porn nowadays. That's why we have more homosexuality. Science, science. Pornography destroys your brain, damages your brain. This is science. 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 Porn is just like heroin. It has the same effect on the brain as heroin. Yeah. Porn will destroy you. Porn will send you to hellfire. Porn will send you to hell! Porn stars with a horrible life. You're supporting, you're supporting a lifestyle that leads to depression, that leads to suicide. In fact, the man who holds the world record for being in the most porn film is now in jail for sexual assault. Are you kidding me? What's wrong? What happened there? Where's Dr. Preacher to? This guy's had more sex than anybody and preaching. got paid for it. Now he's in jail for sexual assault. What? What? Yeah, the profanity, yeah. Yeah, keep jumping up and down like that. Doing that hellfire. Good preaching, brother. Stir it up. <laughs> I saw him walking by. That's when I decided to do yep. a recipe for a homosexual. I knew that was going to pile up. <clears throat> yep. Masturbation what? is homosexuality. You're a guy and you're making making a penis masturbate. I mean, ejaculate. That's homosexuality. Sin. Yeah. A man, a, a man having sex with himself. Two, that's two men. Might as well be two men. It's wickedness. So the devil. Yeah. It's all a progression. All a progression. Okay, I gotta, I gotta tone it down there. Yeah, yeah you better. Right yeah, you <laughs> better. Them guys are gone anyway. I know. They go hear my voice in that in their head though. Oh yeah. Yeah. The guys are just left here mocking the word, mocking the preacher. They're gonna hear my I'm in their head now. They're gonna hear my voice in their head the next time they look at something on the computer they're not supposed to. Or on their phone. My voice is gonna go off in their head. I don't know. too late for them it's not too late for you why do you think you're out here believe me there's towns i've been told not to preach in anymore they've been given over and god sent us to preach here and you should thank god that i'm out here because that means it's not too late for you not too late for you you can still get right with god Never too late. Your heart's still pumping, you're still breathing. Not too late. But don't wait. Don't wait for it. We're not promised tomorrow. You might be driving mm -hmm. home tonight, get hit by a drunk driver and die. <clears throat> you might be in one of these restaurants here and hear the words, Allah who I'm for! Kaboom! And get blown to smithereens. Yeah, a lot of Muslims in this town. You're not, you're not promised tomorrow.
I never knew Muslims had blue eyes. One blows over here, one's blue over there. They got blue eyes. <clears throat> Heaven or hell when you die, people. Heaven or hell when you die. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. We're out here preaching Bible. We're out here preaching Bible. You would know that if you read yours. the train coming. I heard the train coming, then I saw the train coming. But guess what? Death is coming for you. Hey, hey. Death is coming for you. You might hear it coming. You might even see it coming. And again, you might not. What if this train was one of those ones in Japan that goes 200 miles an hour? It'd be gone before we noticed it. Death might be coming for you like that. That's why the Bible says today is the day of salvation. But we want to say, you know what? I need to get this lined up. Let me get my kids out of school. Let me get, let me retire. Then I'll start going to church. That's what my dad said. That's what my father said. He said, after I retire, I'm going to start going to church. He didn't go to church before that. And thank God he made it to retirement. And then he started going to church. Was a good church for a while. Was well, a good church for a while, now it's not a good church. It's more about people, more about money. Not about souls, it's about people. That's what mega churches are all about. It's all about the people and the people that tithe. I don't tithe. I don't tithe at all. Because it's 100%. Tithe is 10%. That's a doctor leading people to hellfire. I will give my 10% to God, and the rest I will give for myself. Feed myself. I'm sorry, guys. What yeah. are you trying to do? Go preaching the gospel. We care about your soul. We care about where you spend eternity. Um, why? Why? Why are you doing this? It's obstructive. It's horrible. That's what the same people told the prophets in the Bible. But let me tell you why we're doing this. We know what hell's like because of the Bible. Because you've been there. I haven't been there. Well, if uh, you yeah. know what it's like, you would have had to be there. I know what it's like because Jesus, in red letters, told me what it's like. No, he did not. Yeah, he did. Sorry, you misread it. I misread it. Yep. Weeping, wailing, gnashing the teeth. Those are the words of Jesus. That's right. I'm talking about hell. Yes, exactly. This is That's what this world is lacking, is the fear of God. Well, Absolutely. God is a loving God. He's a loving God, but the fear of the Lord is the fear of the Christian. Oh, the Bible. I'm sorry. Well, then you say the Bible's bull. You say the Bible's bull. No, I say All right, go write your own Bible, and then and then you can write all the nice little flowery verses that you have. But the, the truth is something different. Okay. We are told that. Bring them to salvation. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not in heaven. Okay, yes, yes, we're not. Yes. Yeah. So, you don't know that your method works. 
Yeah, yeah we do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah we do. This ain't our first rodeo. Well, I've led people to Jesus right on the street. Video evidence. Video evidence. Bye. Maybe I should preach the way they preached in the Bible. I think it died. Oh no, no, I still run it. I can see it. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, back screen. Come on. That's all right. No, that's okay. I can I can see it from the front. Okay. Yeah, still. Let me see. Yeah. 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 Maybe I should preach the way they preached in the Bible. Maybe I should preach the way Jesus preached. That should be the way, right? Let me tell you how long a prophet lasted in the Bible. Not very long. He started preaching, and they start picking up stones. John the Baptist, who led thousands, baptized thousands, never mentions the love of God. Read it. Acts of the Apostles. Whole book of the Bible. Nice, long book of the Bible. 28 chapters, right? Something like that. Yep. Never once mentions the love of God. What about Jesus' first sermon? Jesus' first sermon on earth. Did he say God loves you no matter, no matter what you're like? God accepts you? No, he said repent. Repent. That's right. The of heaven is near. He called people snakes. He called people vipers. He said that sinners were sick. This is Jesus. He wasn't some blonde-haired, blue-eyed hippie walking around giving out free water and hugs. He told the Word of God like it said. In fact, the richest man in the world at his time said, here's the end of the matter. Dear God and keep His commandments. Had everything he wanted. Could snap his fingers and have anything. Gold, silver, he had it all. At the, end of his, at the end of his book that he wrote, he said, Fear God and keep his commandments. Now everybody here thinks, because money is their idol, if I keep working hard, if I play the lottery, I win all this money, I'm going to be happy. All the people with lots of money, Aren't happy. Nope. You got the wrong formula. Because the richest man in the world at his time said, fear God and keep his commandments. Yes, I said fear God. You should fear God. That's why. That's why we got a majority of people sitting in the pews watching pornography. That's why. They wouldn't fear God. Do a few swips, swipes on the, on the phone. Do a few mouse clicks in their business, baby. For free. It's all wicked. It's all wicked. And if you feel ashamed after you watch that porn, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Because it means God hasn't given up on you yet. But I wouldn't be out here if God has given up on you. You should be happy about that. You should thank God when you get home that you heard me out here preaching today. Amen. But if you walk away, you don't get right with God. He's going to show this day to you. He's going to show this time to you. At judgment day, he's going to say, look, I sent you a street preacher to preach to you. <laughs> and you just walked away. You just biked away. Try to forget about all of it. You're going to hear my voice tonight in your head. I hate to break the bathroom to you. My voice is going to repeat itself in your head because I'm in your head now. 
every time you sin, you're going to hear me saying, he who sins is of the devil. And the wages of sin is death. That's what's going to happen. Thank you, you've been a good crowd. Hey.